Hello everyone, welcome back. In our final lecture, we are covering limitations of financial statement analysis. First of all, the financial ratios are viewed in isolation. They are not useful at all. The ratio analysis will be informative if we can compare this ratio with the that of other firms or if we compare the ratios over a period of time. Then, comparison with other companies are even more difficult because there are different accounting treatments and standards. For example, accounting standard or treatments in USA and accounting standard and treatments in Bangladesh are not same. Therefore, it is difficult to compare a Bangladeshi firm with an American firm. It is also very difficult to find a comparable industry ratio. If we analyze a company that operates in multiple industries, for example, there are many companies which operate in multiple industries, like a company might have operation in pharmaceuticals, in the meantime, it might have operation in textile industry. So, it is difficult to com uh, find comparable industry for these sort of companies. No conclusion can be made from a single ratio. And all ratios should be viewed relative to one another. It is always very difficult to determine the target or comparison value for a ratio. For example, we often say that a standard of current ratio is 2. But all companies do not need to maintain the standard of current ratio of 2. Some companies even maintain the standard, standard of uh, maintain a 1 or 1 1.2 current ratio because they do not need to keep uh, or they do not need to pile up current assets to manage their current liabilities. So there is, uh, it is much difficult to say that this is the standard of a particular ratio, rather we should accept some sort of range in their values. It is also very important to understand that definition of ratio may vary from analyst to analyst. For example, some analysts use all liabilities when measure when they measure leverage, whereas other analysts only use interest bearing obligation as liabilities. For example, accounts payable are not interest bearing liabilities for so, some analysts may not consider interest uh, accounts payable when they will measure leverage. That's all about this lecture and it is also end of this module. In our next module, that, that is module 5, we'll cover the links between accounting principles and financial decision making. Thank you.